we will warm up in horse stance using variations of the front punch. First, the traditional front punch. Remember not to lock your elbows or overextend your shoulders. Next, cross your body with each movement. Go at a speed and intensity that is right for you. Breathe out at the peak of each punch. Next, punch in a straight line above your head. You will feel this activating different muscles in your back and core. Keep your abs pulled in. Next, cross punch overhead. Again, you will feel different muscles becoming involved. Maintaining good form will provide the best results. Maintaining horse stance, bend forward and punch straight toward the ground. Use your whole body with each movement. Don't bang or overextend the elbows, shoulders, or spine. Cross your body with each punch. Flexibility will come over time. Do not force your body, your intensity, your speed. Front stance, high block. Snap the wrist and flex the body at the peak of the block. Exhale. The goal of a block is to divert a blow or object from hitting you, not to stop it cold. Front stance, double high block. Use your whole body with each movement. Focus on form and balance. Front stance, front snap kick. Chamber with a bent knee with your foot pointed at the target. Snap the lower leg out. Do not try to kick too high at first. Kicking bestows agility, flexibility, and power to the regular practitioner. Next, chamber your front knee and kick repetitively without lowering the knee. Focus on balance. Increase speed and extension over time. Now repeat this sequence with the other leg. Be careful not to overextend the knee or hip. Your speed, your intensity. Chamber the knee and kick repetitively. The striking surface for the front kick is the ball of the foot with your toes pulled back. Cat stance, front snap kick. The cat stance is a defensive stance. Rest your front foot on the ball with 70% of your weight on the rear foot.
Now execute the cat stance front snap kick with the opposite leg. The rear foot should be oriented at a 90 degree angle to the front foot. Your knee should return to a chambered position before lowering the foot to the ground. Front arm, front leg, inside elbow strike. Use the legs and hips to swing the elbow at the target. This will protect the shoulder joint by helping you to not overextend it when executing this technique. Rear arm inside elbow strike. As you perform this technique, you will feel different muscles being used in contrast to the front arm strike. Exhale at the peak of each movement. Rotating elbow strike. Turning the body adds velocity and power to this technique. Use your whole body with each strike. I hope you enjoyed this workout as much as I did. Have a wonderful day.